So let's continue with our playlist. So before that, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So the problem that we are going to solve today is delete the middle load. So what is the problem stating? It is stating that we'll be given the head of the linked list and your task is to delete the middle load. So let's take the first example. The length is 5, which is an, which is an odd length linked list. In that case, there will be only one middle. You will go to that middle, you will eliminate that node. Once you have eliminated that node, the previous node will be pointing to the next node. Once this is done, you will be returning the head of this particular linked list. Got it? Now you might be thinking, what if the length is even? Let's take one more example where the length is 4, which is even. In this case, there will be two middle. Middle 1, middle 2. Your task is to delete the second middle. Go over here, eliminate, make the uh, previous pointer pointing to the next. Once you have done this, return the head of the linked list. Got it? So before I move on to the solution, please, please go back and watch my video on finding the middle load. I've discussed two solutions over there. One is the brute force, while the other one is the totters in the hair algorithm. Go back and watch it because I'll be reusing the same algorithms over here as well. So what is the first thing that you need to do if you're thinking of a brute force? Reach the middle load or find the middle load and then delete it, right? That's what you will be thinking. But tell me one thing before I move on to the brute force and the optimal algorithm. If you reach the middle load, will it make sense? We have done a lot of deletion problems at the beginning. If I reach the middle load, will it make sense? I can eliminate that. But we have a major task in our hand. That is linking the previous node to the next node. So technically, I don't need, I don't need to reach the middle load. Technically, if I'm able to reach the node before the middle load, my job is done. If I'm able to reach the node before the middle load, my job is done. Agreed? So somehow I don't need to reach the middle. If I reach the node before the middle or before the node that I want to delete, then I can easily change the link. Then I can easily change the link. Imagine this is the node. I can straight away say node next will be nodes next and next. This is what I have to do. If I do this, the link is changed. You can delete this or we can, we can deal with this, right? So, so if I look at the other example, we have two middle, right? M1 and M2. If I reach M2, it will be of no use. So I have to reach M1. If I'm able to reach M1, that is basically the node before the node that has to be deleted. I can straight away change the link with node.next equal to node.next next. Got it? So first goal is to reach the node before the middle node. So now we know one thing that we need to reach the node before the node that has to be deleted. So what will be the extreme length solution that you can think of? traverse to that node, right? And in order to traverse, you have to find out at what index or what position is that node that has to be reached, not deleted. That has to be reached. In this first example, we need to reach here, the node before the deletion node. And this is at the second position, correct? Length is 5. Can I say it is n by 2 integer division or floor, n by 2 floor? 5 by 2, 2.5, integer is 2, floor is 2, right? I need to reach n by 2 ethno. Agreed. Let's let's look at the other example. N is 4, right? I need to reach here because I don't want to reach the node that has to be deleted before the one that has to be deleted. So this is where I want to reach. Again, second. Again, n by 2 integer or floor, right? So what do I need to do? Can I say if somehow I'm able to reach n by 2th node, my job is done. Then I can just change the link. So I need to reach the n by 2th node. And the extreme brute force is find out n and that, that can easily be done by doing a single traversal. So what I'll do is I'll take a temporary, place it at head, I'll take a value of n to be 0 and I'll start counting as the temporary moves. First n is 1, move temporary, n is 2, move temporary, n is 3, move temporary, n is 4, move temporary, n is 5 move temporary and eventually temporary reaches null. The moment it reaches null, you stop. First traversal is completed and the value of n is with you. So the first step of traversal is complete. So we have the value of n. What is the next step? We want to reach the n by 2th node. Over here, n by 2 means 5 by 2, 2.5, integer is 2. So we want to reach the second node. Let's do another round of traversal. So what I will do is, I'll again start from the temporary. Let's start from the temporary. This time, reduce the value and then move. 
again reduce the value the moment you reduce the value and you get zero you don't move it reduce check and if it is zero stop if it is not move to the next move to the next so the temporary has stopped what is your next job it's going to be very simple very very simple what do you do is a temporary your next can it point to temporaries next stop next so basically this link will go but you need to delete it there is still the middle node and it is still pointing to 4 but on a like on a real world scenario what will happen is you'll go to 1 then you'll go to 2 then you'll go to 4 then you'll go to 5 so this 3 is no more accessible you don't have any pointer pointing to it so it's not in the linked list but you still need to free that node in case of C++ so what you'll do is you will keep the middle as before changing the link temporary.next and if you're using C++ please make sure you do free of middle that's it if you do this these two lines in C++ this will be eliminated deleted got that so these are the three lines that you have to do so if I have to write down the code can I say it will be temporary equal to head and the value of n will be zero initially and we can do the simple traversal and compute the length so temporary is not equal to null and we will do n plus plus and we will do temporary equal to temporary next quite simple done step one is done and this will take a big o of n because we are traversing the entire linked list what is the next step resultant integer division of n by 2 so probably you can define it in an integer variable n by 2 and you say okay let's take again temporary to be standing like start at the head again and this time you will be like okay let's keep on moving while temporary is not equal to null let's keep on moving and over here you can straight away see that hey listen let's uh, do resultant minus minus and if resultant is zero I don't move temp I don't move temp I will do the required steps which is which is the middle node that's basically uh, temporary dot next after that is a temporary dot next equal to temporary dot next dot next quite simple right after that what you can do is uh, yeah three middle and break out make sure you give the break statement in case the resultant is not zero you ask temporary to go to the next and keep reducing the value of resultant so temporary dot next once the while loop is completed make sure you return the head because that has been asked in the question done and also at the starting just make sure you take care of the edge cases like if the linked list is empty or if it is a single node linked list because in case of a single node linked list it will be deleted and it will turn to an empty linked list so you will be returning null in this case what will be the complexity of the second half can I say the second half's complexity will be big O of n by 2 because you will traverse till the node before the middle node somewhere near about n by 2 right because that is what the value of resultant is that is how much the loop will be traversing so the overall time complexity will be big O of n plus n by 2 what will be the space complexity big O of 1 so at this point the interviewer will not be happy why because at the end of the day it is a two pass solution one pass to find out the length while the other pass to reach the node before the middle node so he'll ask you to optimize this into a one pass solution and that will be our optimal solution let's check it out so if you do remember our previous video that was finding the middle node we did solve it using the totters and the hair algorithm right and that was a one pass solution can i use the same algorithm over here i can why if you remember the algorithm it was stating that we will take a slow pointer we will take a fast pointer we will move the slow by one we will move the fast by two and they will initially start at the head let's do it slow moved by one fast moved by two that was the first step simultaneously by one and by two and the next step slow moved by one and the fast moved by two whenever the fast reaches the last whenever the fast pointer reaches the last node and that will happen if the length is odd if the length is odd it is bound to reach the last because whenever the length is odd 
the last node is at an odd index is at an odd index first it starts with 1 then goes to 3 odd index goes to 5 odd index the next if there was would have been 7 so in case of odd length uh, link list it will always end up at the last node so whenever it reaches the last node slow will be pointing to the middle node slow will be pointing to the middle node and that was done in one pass in case of an even length link list we did the same thing, slow was standing at the head, fast was standing at the head, then we started moving, slow moved by 1, fast moved by 2. After that, slow moved by 1 again, fast moved by 2. And this is the point you see that the fast is reaching null. In case of even length link list, it was reaching null. Why? Because the even length, if you count the index, it's an even length index. So if the fast is jumping, it will jump to 3, then it will jump to 5. Right? That is why it will never end at the last node. So whenever the fast reaches the null, slow was pointing to the middle. So if you remember our solution, our solution is not to reach the middle node. Because if I reach the middle node, I cannot change the length. Our solution was to reach the node before the middle node. So that I can change the links. Can I do it? I think I can. Maybe I can take a third variable. And while slow is traversing, I can remember the last node it was at. I can do that. But do I need a third variable? Probably not. I will do it in a simpler way. So what I will do is, I'll do slight changes. Yes, I'll do slight changes to the existing totters in the hair algorithm. And that will make sure that we end up being at the node before the middle node. Okay. So what are these slight changes? Tell me one thing. Where did you start? You started here. Slow and fast pointers was pointing to head. Where did they end? Slow ended here and the fast pointer ended here. What do you want? You don't want slow to end here. You want slow to end here because this is the node before the middle node. You want one step before. One step before. One step. Skip one step. Skip one step. Yes. What I'll do is I will skip one step of slow. I will skip one step of slow. So what I'll do is eventually I can say slow is here. Fast is here. Let's do the first step. Fast moves to two places ahead. I'll skip one step of slow. Skip. Don't move slow. Skip. Skip. Skipped. Let's do the ne same steps afterwards. Slow moves by one. Fast moves by two. Fast has reached null. And you stop. You don't do anything. Done. Done in the straight. So what you see is Slow has ended up reaching one step before the middle node. Why did that happen? Because you skipped one step. So if you are skipping one step, it is bound that you are one place before the middle node. Makes sense, right? We can do the same thing over here. Initially, we start with slow over here, fast over here, and let's do the algorithm. Skip one step. So only fast will move. Skip the first step. After this, let's keep moving them. Fast reaches here, slow reaches here. Since fast reaches null, your slow ends up pointing to the node before the second middle in this case. Done. So I will be writing the pseudocode in case you want the C++, Java, Python or JavaScript course. The link will be in the description. It's going to be the same as the tortoise and the hair algorithm. We started by placing slow at head and the fast pointer at head, right? Let's do one step. So that's basically fast will be fast of next next. And we will not move slow because slow will be skipping. After that, move them simultaneously. So that's basically stating while if it reaches the last, that's perfect. Otherwise, it has to be at the last, which is this case. If it is not, if both the conditions are not met, that means it is somewhere still in the link list. Slow will move by one. And the fast will move by 2. Done. What after this? End up. Once you have done this. You are guaranteed that the slow is pointing to the middle node. Do the link change. So can I say the link change will be slow. Next. Of slow. Next, next. And once you have done this. You return the current head of the link list. Which is this. That's done. You need to free up in case of C++. You need to free up that node. 
So that middle node, can I say the middle node will be slow dot next? Don't free it after it. Change the link and then say free. Free middle. So in case of C++, these two lines will come in. That is basically freeing up that node. Once you've done this, you can return. So when you start, please make sure you check if the given link list is empty or, or if it is a single element link list. In both cases, you basically return null. Because if it is a single element link list, that will be the middle. And if you delete it, it will turn up to an it will get converted into an empty link list. So you'll be returning null. What will be the time complexity? Same as the tortoise in the hair algorithm, which is B go of n by 2, because ultimately you're going till the half of the link list. The space complexity, B go of 1. So we were able to solve this using one pass. So let's quickly get back into the code editor. As you can see, I've written the exact same code over here. Let the submit button and it will be submitted in case you want other languages code. It will be in the description. Please make sure you check it out. So if you're still watching, I'm very much sure that you've understood everything. And if that is the case, please, please do consider giving us a like. And if you're new to our channel, do consider subscribing to us as well. With this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's meet in some other video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.